Reddit. What's one of the dumbest things you've ever spent money on? I was 11 and my dad gave me 50 bucks to spend at the mall. So, I wandered into a gift shop and spent it all on an electronic vibrating oinking pink pig. I never played with it after I brought it home. Tried to return it, only to be offered store credit. You taught your father a valuable lesson in financial responsibility. Haha <laughs> that's a great way to put it. When I went on a school field trip to Washington DC back in middle school, I bought a $2 bill at a souvenir shop for $20 somehow. That's a shame they practically scammed a kid for 18 bucks. I was drunk and bought monster ballads off an infomercial. And I paid an extra $20 for rush delivery because I was drunk and needed a sap and it showed up a month later. I've always wanted to meet someone who bought music off an infomercial. This is a big thrill for me. My sister bought one of those now that's what I call music CDS. Actually had some cool tunes on it and played it on our stereo. Then Napster and Lemuire kicked in and we couldn't give a single fuck about it. There was this guy named Don Lapa who sold money making kits. Like how to make money with classified ads. I think I invested about $350 and received literally nothing of value. I was young and being stupid. Looked him up tonight to remember how to spell his name. Turns out he killed himself with a razor blade while in jail in 2011. I have to say, his TV commercials were very convincing. Thankfully at the time I was young and broke, so I couldn't pay for his nonsense. If I had enough room on my credit card, I would have. I finally figured out that he implied lots of income, but the testimonials only talked about revenues. When I was like 14 I bought a pack of intentionally mismatched socks that were really expensive. Like, only one of each pattern. Could have bought twice as many normal socks and just mismatched them myself. I did this too, but to make it worse I bought two packs so that I could match them. This is some galaxy brain shit right here. When I was 19, I got a construction job that paid fairly well. Stupid me got all hot and horny for a fun car. I signed up for a 5 year loan after test driving the first one. I ended up having engine failure almost 2 years later. Because it was a used car, and from a shady used car dealer, the warranty was well expired. I couldn't afford to get a new engine for it, so I ended paying over 3 years for a car that I wasn't driving. Edit, since I've been getting messages and replies saying it's your fault, you didn't maintain the car. That car was my baby, I worked on it every day, and loved it for the short period of time I had it. Now, this car had what is called a wankle rotary. These are not reliable engines. The apex seals blow as they are basically as thick and durable as the graphite in a pencil. Mazda RX-8s are notoriously unreliable. I did not know this 8 years ago as I hadn't done much research. The more you yeah, know. If you want to prove how tough you are, this is not the place. I do not care. I had fun with my car and learned a lot from the experience. And if you think this is the dumbest thing I have ever done, you're very wrong. This past Christmas Eve I was doing some last minute shopping and came across a wine glass shaped like Buddy from the movie Elf which of course also had Will Ferrell's face on it. With everything kinda being out of order with the holiday rush I didn't know how much it cost, but I bought it on pure impulse because I thought it was funny. It wasn't until I left the store and looked at the receipt did I realize that it cost $22, which is way more than it's worth. To remind me of my mistake, I now drink out of that glass exclusively and have been for the past 5 months. I have to wash it like twice a day, but I won't stop using it until I feel like I've gotten my $22 worth. Can we see it? Most expensive dumb thing. A Mercedes 500 cell. Literally bankrupt myself buying parts and gas for that fucking land yacht. Sold it for half what I paid and felt lucky to be rid of it. Dumbest dumb thing. A metallic gold laden painting of a Pontiac Firebird. It uses white trash, and I had planned on putting it in a family gift exchange as a joke, but didn't end up going, and got stuck with it. It's currently hanging in a storage room, like all classy paintings do. Hang it in your garage so all your neighbors see it, whenever you open your garage. I spent $40 one of those amusement park booths, where you had to throw darts at balloons. For some reason, I picked out this really ugly 7 feet tall frog stuffed animal. 
It's in the corner of my closet and still scares me when I'm half awake in the morning. I had one of those from Six Flags, I won it early in the day and my dad was so pissed. I named his froggy McCarpestine and kept him for over 10 years. My mom finally got rid of him saying she couldn't spare that much space for him anymore. R.I.P. Here's a deal. When I was in 8th grade my class went on a field trip to Six Flags. I played the ring toss game where you had to toss the rings on the bottles. I won on my first bucket and picked out a 6 foot stuffed whale. This was at like 9 in the morning and I had to now carry this with me all day. A couple hours later I played the ring toss again and won again. So this time I picked out a 5 foot stuffed dog. Now, as a 90 lb 8th grader I couldn't carry both of these with me, so I enlisted a friend and we carried them around and had to leave them at every single ride we went on. They were heavy. Finally a guy asked me if he could buy the dog and I told him sure, for $50. Took that money back to the ring toss game and lost all of it. The whale was cool, but I never did anything with it other than having it just sit in my room. Worth it because I was king of the ring toss. I bought a timeshare. Look, if you're still not comfortable with the numbers, you just double down. You get two weeks, sell that second week, boom, you're vacationing for free. Okay, so if we buy a second week and we sell that, we are vacationing for free. What happens if we buy a third week and sell that? We are getting paid to vacation. Got that inflatable dinosaur costume. Wore it once around my campus and now I forgot where it is. I fucking love those. First time I ever saw one was Halloween 5 or so years back. I was doing some late night grocery shopping. The dinosaur was hobbling through the produce section. Something about watching it trying to grab lettuce with its tiny arms just made me lose it. I got a bad case of the giggle standing in line which turned out to be contagious. Still crack up when I think about it. I bought my oldest a wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. You see that's the problem. Once you learn to dance like one you'll attract 50% more attention without buying anything. Got drunk and started ordering ninja gear off of Amazon and forgot about it until it showed up like a week later. Swords, nunchucks, a suit and mask. Please send photos, that's hilarious. I was just a few weeks out of basic training and bought one of those family lineage with the shields on it and description. I blew $500 or so bucks just to find out it wasn't even accurate. Lol classic boot, and I was booting hard. Gifts for my mother. She complains every single time. I bought my parents a new smart TV for Christmas after they'd been compliant about their old one and how much of a hassle it was watching things like Netflix. The TV is still in the box. The blanket that makes you look like a giant burrito. It was super thin and of poor quality, not to mention not big enough to cover me. Now I'll never look like a burrito. As an owner of this burrito blanket, yes, it is small, but it is very soft and very comfortable. I think there's more than one on the market. I'm betting yours is better than mine. I bought a make-it-yourself music box with a series of cards to punch out the notes and then insert so you can play whatever tune you want. Thought I could make my GF a special gift, then I realized that I can't read music, and when I tried to punch it by ear it sounded bloody awful. I have one of these, and it's sweet. Google music box tabs or midi converter and 12 pin. You can get a few great songs that are easy to punch and play well. Or, you upload a midi file, and it converts for you. Good luck. I once bought my girlfriend a hat, and had her name embroidered on it. She asked me if I would ever wear a shirt with my name on it. I would not. I have had a few drinks, TGIF, and wandered into a Williams Sonoma store in a state of euphoria. There I saw a special edition KitchenAid stand mixer made in bronze that was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. It was on sale for $999. Naturally, I bought it, but because I'm a single guy who doesn't bake it's just taking up much needed counter space. No time like the present to learn. I bought a cat eye stencil off Amazon that's supposed to help with liquid eyeliner application because my hands are shaky as fuck. Didn't check the reviews. It's a crappy piece of plastic shaped like a cat that breaks really easy, apparently. I wouldn't know. I bought it a week ago drunk 
and it's shipping from China with an estimated arrival of July 27th. Edit, literally saved every bit of advice for my attempts tomorrow. Thanks all. OMG I bought that thing last year. It's such a stupid product. Tried it twice before giving up. Turns out huge cat shaped pieces of plastic don't exactly fit into the corners of hooded eyes. Both times I looked like I'd let my dog try to do my macup. I bought a pager. The clip snapped, I took it to where I bought it. We only cover the pager, not the case I walked outside right in front of the window and spiked the shit out 8 effort. Walked back inside and said my pager is broken. Did it work? I bought a flashlight a long time ago when my ex-wife was having a high risk pregnancy and sex wasn't allowed. It sucked. Not in a good way. You'd have to take it out, warm it up, be careful about what lube you used before you could use it. Then when you were done, you had a big greasy mess leaking jizz all over the place. You'd have to disassemble it, get all of the baby batter out of all the little nooks and crannies inside, dry it, and apply cornstarch to it before you could put it away. The post fap shame as you were cleaning it afterwards was real. I used it like twice before just switching back to my hand. It didn't even feel that good. It felt like a cool to the touch soft girl who was super loose and not into it at all. Bumpets. Totally forgot those existed until about a week ago. Those things look dumb in the commercial. Can't imagine how they were in reality. I once went to a novelty slash thrift shop that had a ton of random shit. Ended up spending $10 on a framed picture of Count Dooku, Darth Sidious and Jango Fett from Star Wars, since my GF thought it was funny. The frame recently broke, and I found out, after seeing the back of the picture it was from a calendar when Attack of the Clones came out. Someone just cut this picture out of an old calendar, put it in a frame and my dumbass voluntarily spent $10 on it. You bought the frame. A 155 pack of condoms. A week after I had a vasectomy. Complete brain dead moment. Oh a fellow Costco customer. My brother bought that pack for his study abroad in Europe. He came back with 155 condoms. Reminds me of the first time I downloaded Tinder. Bought a 20 pack cause I expected lots of matches. You all already know how that story ended. Ended up with 21 because a date dropped one in your car in her haste to get out. My friends and I randomly decided to get into paintballing one year. My first visit to a paintball shop, I apparently felt like flexing my brand new I have a job and no bills because I live with my parents income, so I dropped about $400 on a paintball gun that looked like an AK-47, the way an Nerf pistol looks like a Glock. We did a few practice fights with each other, then went to a paintball field that weekend. The bell rang. The fight started, I ran out, aimed at a guy, gun jammed, and I got shot in the head, just above the part my mask was covering. That gun never fired again, and I ended up replacing it with a cheap Tipman 98 custom, which as far as I understand, is the vanilla sherbet of paintball guns. It worked, but we stopped paintballing forever, after like 2 months. So I guess the second gun was also one of the dumbest things I spent money on. If it broke the first time you used it why didn't you return it? A tiny alarm clock. Smaller than my hand. It actually functions pretty well though, so it's a good travel alarm. As long people don't get suspicious about the ticking noise coming from your bag. Also a great way to hide the sound of the bomb inside your bag. Airport security officer. Actually, throwers don't worry about ticking cause modern bombs don't tick. Narrator. Sorry, throwers. Airport security officer, baggage handlers. But when a suitcase vibrates, then the thrower's gotta call the police. Narrator, my suitcase was vibrating. Airport security officer, 9 times out of 10 it's an electric razor. But, every once in a while, looks around, leans in conspiratorially, it's a dildo. Leans back, of course, it's company policy never to imply ownership in the event of a dildo. We have to use the indefinite article, a dildo, never, your dildo. I just sunk a round dollar sign 7k in becoming a licensed massage therapist. Had my job a little over a year and was just stating to get pretty solid when suddenly I can no longer touch people or be within 6 feet of them. At least I paid off my student loans in February. My sympathies. Perhaps you need to contact the person who bought 
that 16 feet net thing to turn off lights in their living room and see if you can't hack a 16 foot massage machine. Just an idea. My quarantine shopping recently lead to me purchasing a manatee shaped tea infuser. As the proud owner of my own manatee infuser I'm offended. It's one of the best things I've ever bought. Shampoo. I'm bald. Doesn't mean you don't need shampoo. Who doesn't want their homegrown hairy man's wetter to be lush and shiny? This comment is showing up blank, almost as though my eyes refuse to communicate what it says to my brain. Man's water. A Himalayan salt lamp useless, but aesthetically pleasing. I have one in my kid's bedroom. It has a great dimmable switch that can be turned way low, and it becomes a very pleasant warm glowing night light for my children. I go in and turn it off after they've fallen asleep. I think it looks cool. Also my kids lick the thing sometimes. I have one on my desk. On boring days I wonder how many licks it would take to get to the light bulb. Not me, but a distant relative and his wife, both in their 70s, sent a certain African prince several thousand dollars to insure a shipment of 45 kilograms of gold he was receiving. He promised to triple their money once he got it. He gave no reason to why specifically they were chosen for it. They didn't think it was a good idea to tell anyone else about this wonderful opportunity they were getting, as they were worried we would try to take their money from them or get a share of it. When the son of the deposed king of Nigeria emails you directly asking for help, you help. His father and the freaking country 